snake. All right, friends. All right, come to your backs in a comfy position. Start by noticing your breath. Your breath in. Space at the top of your breath. Your breath out. And that pause right at the bottom. Before you breathe back in. As you're ready to bring in movement, reach your arms overhead, extend your feet forward, inhale, stretch and lengthen. And exhale, soften. And again, inhale, stretch, get longer. And exhale, soften. This time, inhale, stretch and lengthen. Your exhale, walk your hands and your feet off to the right. Just enough to feel that stretch in your left side. Let your shoulders soften. And releasing your jaw, take an open mouth breath in. Open mouth, let it go. Your inhale, make your way back through center. And exhale, walk off to the left. Big breath in. Open mouth, sigh out. And inhale, make your way back through center. Your exhale, bend your knees, ground the soles of your feet about mat width, slowly windshield wiper your knees side to side. And the next time that your knees come to the right, pause there. Reach your arms to the back left corner of your mat, gently press through the inside edge of your left foot, pressing your knee forward. Big breath in. Long breath out. Your inhale, make your way back through center. And exhale, switch your sides. Just gently press through the inside edge of your right foot, pressing your knee forward. Big breath in. Let it go. And inhale, make your way back through center. And exhale, hug your knees into your chest. Any intuitive movement here, rock left and right, circle your knees or your feet. And then coming back to center, release your legs, extend your feet to the ceiling. Bring your hands behind your legs. Gently draw your straight legs toward you. Big breath in. Hug your legs in closer. Breathe out. And then reach your hands up for your feet, your shins, or ankles. On your exhale, take a happy baby. Bend your knees to the outsides of your ribcage. Maybe scrunch your face to the ceiling here a few times. 
Use that to find softness and contrast through all the little muscles of your face. And releasing your jaw, take that open mouth breath in. Open mouth, let it go. Let's release your feet. Let's bring your knees to a roughly 90 degree angle over your hips. Roll all the way to your left. Stack your right hip on top of your left. Keep your hips stacked, peel open through your right side. So you're breathing right into your mid-upper back. Big breath in. Long breath out. And then inhale, make your way back through center and exhale, switch your sides. Stack your left hip on top of your right. Keep your hips stacked as you peel open through your left side. And you're breathing right into your mid upper back using this stacking of your hips to shift this twist up higher than it would be if that left hip slid back. Big breath in. Long breath out. And inhale, make your way back through center. Your exhale, let's ground the soles of your feet about hip width. Bring your fingers to graze your heels. Press your feet and your arms down, lift your hips up, bridge pose. Be gentle here, relatively speaking. We're still early in class. Engage your glutes. So you lift your hips. Counter that engagement of your glutes by pulling your low belly toward your spine. So you're supporting minimal bend coming from your low back. Press through your shoulder blades so there's less pressure on your neck. One more breath in. And exhale. Slowly lower down. Let's hug your knees into your chest. This time rock forward and backward along your spine. Let's make your way through your seat to a tabletop. And then in your tabletop, take some cat cow breaths. Inhale your belly to the ground, bring your gaze up. Exhale, round your spine, press up through your mid-upper back. Add in any side to side movement that feel nourishing. Your hips or your shoulders, your head. Take a few more full breaths here. And then coming back to a neutral spine. Let's bring your forearms to the ground. Step your feet back, forearm plank. Level your hips and your shoulders. You can stay on your toes or bring your knees to the ground anytime. Press up through your mid-upper back so you get that shoulder contraction. Actively engage your glutes. Squeeze your legs together. Please notice if your fingers are gripping more than is helpful. Got this. You're here for another 10. Breathe. Notice that space at the top of your breath. Even if that space is a half second, use that noticing to make your breath out more intentional. You're here for four. Keep squeezing your legs together. You've got this. Big breath in. 
lower your hips to the ground, breathe out. Soften your feet, press your feet down, open your fingers, draw your arms back. Sphinx pose, pull your low belly in again to support minimal arch coming from your low back. Engage your legs tighter as you press them down. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, big breath in. And exhale, lower down. Spend your knees side back, child's pose. In your child's pose, separate your hands about shoulder width and then walk your fingers forward till your palms lift. Let your head and your neck soften, gently press down through the pads of your fingers. So you're breathing into that space between your shoulder blades. Big breath in. Breathe out. And then soften your palms to the ground. Come forward onto your hands, breathe in. This time curl your toes under, downward facing dog. Breathe out. From your dog, inhale, press up high into your toes. And exhale, heels toward the ground. And again, inhale up high into your toes. And exhale, heels toward the ground. Inhale, extend your right leg high. Now on your exhale, step your right foot between your hands, low lunge. Bend into your right knee, dip your hips, breathe in. Exhale, straighten your right leg, relatively speaking. Engage your right quad, press down through your right heel. So you're using that focus on your quad to help lengthen your hamstring. And then notice what's happening with your shoulders. Lighten your fingers to help soften your shoulders here. Big breath in. Keep engaging your right quad as you push through your right heel. Breathe out. Flowing this a couple of times. Inhale, bend into your right knee, dip your hip. Exhale, straighten, push through your right foot. And again, inhale, bend into your right knee. Exhale. Straighten. Let's bring your gaze in front of your right toes. Keep pushing through your right foot. Keep engaging your right quad. Float your left leg. Standing slip. Use your outer right hip here to steer your left hip bone down. Recommit to pushing through your right foot, engaging your right quad. Engage your left glute. Lift your left leg up higher. So strength through both legs. And then soften your fingers to let your shoulders hang heavily. So you have that contrast that Strong engagement in your lower half and that softness in your upper half. Keep using your outer right hip to steer your left hip going down. Engage your left glute, lift your leg up higher, breathe in. And exhale, two feet touch forward, fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your arms all the way up. Take a back bend, breathe out. Reach high, breathe in. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center. It's pause here for a moment. Take a balancing pose, Let's take tree pose. So standing on your right leg, bring your left foot somewhere inside of your right leg. It can always be toes on the ground. It could be on your calf, it could be on your thigh, preferably avoiding your knees so there's not lateral pressure on your knee. And then adjust your upper tree limbs to any shape. Back to noticing your breath. Stay right here. Maybe find a focus point in front of you. Preferably one that isn't moving if you're looking at a mirror. And then maybe continue to see that point in your mind's eye as you slowly close your eyes. Knowing the worst thing that happens is you bring that left foot back to the ground. Most of us depend, that are sighted, depend on seeing for balance. 
and I know I know I personally stop breathing when I close my eyes, and uh, that doesn't seem to help my balance. So notice your breath out. Couple more breaths here. And then slowly lower your tree. Paddle at your heels, roll your shoulders out. Inhale, sweep your arms up, breathe in. Take a back bend, breathe out. Reach high, breathe in. Sit back, chair pose, breathe out. Squeeze your inner thighs toward each other. Find a really subtle tuck of your tail, lengthening your low back. And then sit your hips down and back further. Squeeze your glutes. Big breath in. Sit a little bit lower, breathe out. Another breath in. Lean and fly your arms, breathe out. Reach through your fingers, squeeze your triceps, squeeze your shoulder blades together, sit down a little bit lower. And then connect your hands behind you, interlace your fingers, hook your thumbs, any other connection, shine your chest open, breathe in. Keep your bind forward, fold. Then gently tuck your chin to your chest, turn your head side to side, massaging your neck. Come back to center, chin to chest. Release your hands, take a halfway lift, breathe in. And exhale, fold, step just your left foot back, low lunge. Round your left palm, extend your right arm toward the ceiling, take a twist, breathe in. On your exhale, bend deeper into your right knee. Push through your right foot, actively engage your right quad and glute. Float your left fingers. So you're using the strength through your legs to support your twist here. And then as you push through your right foot, keep the same amount of bend in your right knee, but use that engagement of your right leg to create a little bit of space in your right hip crease. And then push back through your left heel, engage your back left quad. One more breath in. Exhale, unwind, quarter turn to the left. Wide legged forward fold. Spend a few full breaths here. Actively press through your feet so you're using your strong quads to help lengthen your hamstrings. Couple more full breaths. And then coming back to center. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, walk your right hand over toward your left. Keep your hips square, press through your feet, engage your quads, bring your left hand to your left hip, twist to the left. So this twist is coming again from your mid upper back. Press your feet down even more intentionally, engage your quads here. Big breath in. Exhale, unwind to the top of your space, slow lunge. Lower your left knee to the ground, soften your toes. Draw your low belly and press through your right foot, come on up. And then find a really subtle tuck of your tail here as you press your hips forward. So as you press your hips forward, there's minimal bend coming from your low back. And then root down through your right foot and your left shin. So you're breathing right into the front of your left leg. Big breath in. Press your hips forward as you breathe out, press down into the mat. Keep drawing your low belly to support your back, breathe in. And then exhale, bring your palms to the inside of your right foot. Just toe heel your right foot out to the side just a little bit. And then grounding your hands, or they can always be on a block. Work your outer right hip here by pressing your right arm and your right leg into each other. Breathe, big breath in. Push your arm and your leg into each other as you breathe out. Make sure that pushing is going both ways so both your leg and your arm are pushing. Notice what's happening in your left shoulder. Let that soften. Big breath in. You got this push. Breathe out. 
and then soften. Slide your right knee back to meet your left. Slide your hips back, child's pose. Big breath in. Open mouth, let it go. Separate your hand shoulder width. Come forward onto your palms, breathe in. This time step your feet back, plank pose as you breathe out. You can always stay on your knees here. Press up through your mid upper back. Squeeze your legs together, engage your glutes. And then working into your obliques, keep your shoulders square to the ground. Inhale, dip your hips either side, doesn't matter. Exhale to center, squeeze your legs. Inhale, dip the other way, press evenly through both palms. Exhale, center. Actively draw your low belly up and in to support your back. Inhale, dip other way. Exhale, center. Inhale, dip opposite side. You got this. Exhale, center one more each direction. Inhale, dip. Exhale, center, squeeze your glutes. Inhale, dip the other way. Exhale, center, breathe in. Exhale, bend your elbows partway down. That could be a millimeter, it could be halfway to the ground. Bend only so far as your hips and your shoulders stay level. And then without moving your hands, pull your hands toward each other, so in toward your nose. Squeeze your legs. Squeeze your glutes, you're here for three, you've got this, breathe. Two, big breath in, pull, breathe out. Press back up, plank pose, breathe in. Press up through your mid upper back so you have that shoulder protraction, actively squeeze your triceps, squeeze your legs, breathe in. Come to meet downward facing dog, breathe out. From your dog, inhale, press up high into your toes. And exhale, heels toward the ground. Inhale, extend your left leg high. Exhale, step your left foot between your hands, low lunge. Bend in to your left knee, dip your hips. Exhale, straighten your left leg. Engage your left quad, press through your left heel. Notice what's happening with your shoulders and your neck. Let those soften. Big breath in. Keep engaging your left quad. Breathe out. Push through your left foot. Blow this a couple of times. Inhale, bend into your left knee, dip your hips. Exhale, straighten. Again, inhale, bend into your left knee. Exhale, straighten. And then gaze in front of your left toes. Keep engaging your left quad. Keep pushing through your left foot. Float your right leg. Standing split, which is probably more like a standing T-shape, or it's likely. So use your outer left hip to steer your right hip bone down. Engage your right glute. Lift your right leg up higher. Actively push your left foot down into your mat. Keep engaging both quads. And then again, notice your shoulders and your neck. Let them hang heavily, let them soften. Recommit to pushing through your left foot so you cultivate space in your left hip crease. Engage your right glute, lift your leg up a little bit higher. You've got this, breathe in. And two feet touch, forward fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, fold. This time, sink your hips back, reach your arms forward, chair pose. Soften the tops of your shoulders. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Gentle tuck of your tail, squeeze your glutes, big breath in. Sit your hips down and back a little bit further. Keep squeezing your legs together, but hinge at your hips. Reach the top of your head and your fingers forward. Sit your hips down and back. Breathe, big breath in. Keep engaging your quads, draw your low belly and breathe out. Big breath in. Squeeze your glutes, you've got this, breathe out. One more breath in, this time exhale, drinking bird. Come high into your toes, if your ankles support that, fly your arms. Actively reach through your fingers, squeeze your triceps. Big breath in. 
If you're on your toes, pick your heels up a little bit higher. Breathe out. And then stay on your toes. If you're there, bring your fingers to graze your mat. Rise to standing on your toes. Breathe in. Heels to the ground. Take a back bend. Exhale. Reach high. Breathe in. Exhale. Hands to heart center. Tree pose. Other side. This time standing on your left leg. Bring your right foot. Mm -hmm. Right foot to the inside of your left leg. Anywhere, but preferably not your knee. Any variation within your tree limbs. Notice your breath, especially your breath out. And then keep your eyes open or maybe find that focus point and slowly begin to close them. No, the worst thing that happens is you lower your right foot and come back into this. If you're beginning to close your eyes or your eyes are closed, notice your exhale. A few more full breaths here. On your next exhale, lower your tree. Paddle out your heels, roll your shoulders out. And then inhale, sweep your arms up overhead. Take a back bend, breathe out. So reach high, breathe in. This time on your exhale, dive straight to the ground. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, fold, so just your right foot back, low lunge. Ground your right palm. Extend your left hand to your hip or to the ceiling, take a twist. And then bend deeper into your left knee. Keep that depth, but push down more intentionally through your left foot. Actively engage your left quad. Float your right fingers and then push back through your right heel. Engage your right back quad. Keep this depth and engagement. Cultivate a little bit more space in your left hip crease by really squeezing that left quad and pushing actively through your left foot without backing out of that knee bend. Big breath in. Exhale, unwind, quarter turn to the right. Wide-legged forward fold. Spend another five or six full breaths here. Take whatever stillness or movement feels best to your body this moment. And coming back to center. Here's our twist. Take a halfway lift. Breathe in. Exhale. Walk your left hand over to your right side. Before you twist open, notice where your hips are. Square them. Press your feet down. Squeeze your quads to help maintain that squareness in your hips. And then right hand to your right hip. Twist to the right. Big breath in. Squeeze your quads tighter. Breathe out. Actively push through both feet. Another breath in. And then exhale, unwind to the top of your space, low lunge. Slower your right knee to the ground, soften your toes. Push into your left foot, low belly in. Come on up, head, chest, and arms. Keep drawing your low belly in as you press your hips forward. And as you press your hips forward, root down through your connection with your mat, your left foot, and your right shin. So you're breathing right into the, your right rectus femoris, the front of your quad and hip flexor. Big breath in. You got this push down into the ground. Breathe out, draw your low belly in as you press your hips forward. Really root down through your back right shin. One more breath in. Exhale, bring your palms to the inside of your left foot. Maybe toe heel your left foot out to the side a little bit more. You might wanna scoot it forward a couple of inches. So the key is you don't want your left knee out in front of your toes. So if your knee is in front of your toes, slide that foot forward just a little bit. Palms to the ground or to a block. And then add work for your left hip here by pressing your left arm and left leg into each other.
as you press your left arm and leg into each other. Add in that core engagement, actively draw your low belly in. And can you keep pushing your arm and your leg together, but soften the tops of your shoulders? Big breath in. Let this push, breathe out. And then soften. Slide your left knee back to meet your right. Slide your hips back, child's pose. Big breath in. Open now, let it go. And then separating your hand shoulder, come forward onto your palms, breathe in. Step your feet back, plank pose. Breathe out. Level your hips and your shoulders. You can stay on your toes, or once your toes are crawled under, you can always bring your knees back to the ground. But I would use that stepping back and that leveling off of your hips and your shoulders to determine the distance between your hands and your feet or your knees. Press up through your mid-upper back. Squeeze your triceps. You got this. Breathe. Actively draw your low belly up and in. Notice your breath out. You're here for another about 15 seconds. You've got this. Keep pressing up through your mid upper back. Press down really intentionally through the pads of your fingers and your palms. Squeeze your legs together, engage your glutes. You're here for about eight. Notice your breath. Squeeze your triceps. Squeeze your glutes. Squeeze your quads. Breathe in. Downward facing dog. Breathe out, nice job. Inhale, press up high in your toes. Exhale, heels toward the ground. Inhale, extend your right leg high. Exhale, step your right foot between your hands, low lunge. Let's bring your left heel to the ground, toes at about a 45 degree angle, bend into your right knee. Come on up, warrior one. Nudge your left hip forward to square your hips. Draw your low belly and press your hips forward as you root down through both feet so you're breathing into the front of your left quad and hip flexor. Big breath in. Exhale, connect your hands behind you. Shine your chest open, breathe in. Exhale, nudge your left hip forward, humbly bow. Big breath in. Bend deeper into your right knee, breathe out, and then keep that depth in your right knee. Actively squeeze your right quad. Notice your arms, make them intentional. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Squeeze your triceps. Big breath in. You got this, breathe out. Playing with a slightly different transition than usual. We're gonna turn this into a standing knee raise without really anything in between. Without pushing off your back left foot, release your fingers, push through your right foot. Um, the standing knee raise, breathe in. Exhale, figure four. Cross your left ankle over your right quad. So here. As though you were sitting into a chair, draw your low belly and gentle tuck of your tail, sit your hips back. Roll your shoulders up and back. Breathe. Actively squeeze your standing right quad and glute. You got this big breath in. Low belly in. Sit down a little bit lower. Breathe out. Take your time. Unwind. Standing knee raise. Breathe in. Hug your left knee in tighter to your chest. 
Use your hamstring, hug your heel toward your glute, your left heel toward your glute. Keep that pulling in, hinge forward into essentially a standing split, but with that left knee bent, left heel pulling to your glute. So you're using that hamstring strength to pull your heel in here. Shoulders soft, breathe in. You got this, breathe out. Keep the knee bend, keep pulling your heel in. One time here, squat. Bend into your right knee, tuck your left knee behind your right calf. Keep pulling that left heel up with your hamstring, shift weight back to your right heel. Fingers soft. Breathe, big breath in. Keep pulling your left heel up, actively squeeze your right quad, breathe out. Lengthen through both legs, breathe in. Step back, low lunge. Scrounge your left palm, extend your right arm to the ceiling, take a twist, breathe in. On your exhale, bend deeper into your right knee. Push down more firmly through both feet. Float your left fingers. Big breath in. Actively squeeze your right quad. Breathe out. And then lift out of this about halfway. Breathe. Big breath in. Bend a touch deeper into your right knee. Breathe out. You got to take your time. Reverse your warrior. Left heel to the ground. Reach your arms up and back. Fold. Big breath in. Exhale, extended side angle. Keep the space in your right side body. Windmill your right arm in front of your right leg or forearm to your thigh. If your arm is inside of your leg, like we did before in that um, partial lizard stretch, press your right arm and your right leg into each other to add work for your outer right hip. Then as you do that, bend into your right knee. Simultaneously press your arm and your leg into each other, press your right foot down into the ground, and then push back through your left foot. Breathe, big breath in. You got this, breathe out. Rise up, high pyramid pose. Straighten your arms and your legs, breathe in. Exhale, parallel your feet, dive to the ground. Wide-legged forward fold. We're gonna come back to that hip stretch here or to a hip strengthener stretch. Take a halfway lift. On your exhale, bring your heels in. Maybe bring your heels in like another inch, but not by much. And then keep this halfway lift nature of your spine, but bend into your knees to sit your hips back roughly knee height. And then walk your palms to the insides of your feet. Spine is long. So notice if there's a lot of arch in your low back as you lift your head up. Draw your low belly toward your spine, so minimal arch in your low back. And then press your arms and your legs into each other. Sink your hips a little bit lower. Draw your low belly in. As you press your arms and your legs into each other, add on, press your feet down into the ground. Breathe, big breath in. Push, breathe out. Keep both those things, add on, press your hands down into the ground. Keep sitting your hips low, draw your low belly up and in. Press arms and legs together, press your hands and your feet down into your mat. You're here for three, you've got this, breathe. Big breath in. Press, breathe out. And then straighten your legs, parallel your feet. Take a halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, unwind, top of your space, slow lunge. Lower your left knee to the ground. This time, let's slide your right knee in front of your left. Open your feet, come to sit between your feet. So you're seated. Right leg is somewhere on top of your left. Your left leg can always be straight or bent. Either way, make sure that your right sit bone is, both sit bones, but especially your right sit bone is grounded. Roll your shoulders up and back. Sit tall, breathe in. Exhale, hinge forward. This might be your hinge right here. It might be a millimeter. It might be further. Hinge only so far as you keep length in your low back, draw your low belly in. 
soften the tops of your shoulders. Breathe, big breath in. Breathe out. And then slowly hinge back up. Let's unwind both poles. Start with your hands behind your quads to help lengthen your spine. Roll your shoulders up and back. Low belly in, pull your chest and your, um, your whole front of your torso in closer to your legs. Squeeze your inner thighs together and then maybe release your hands, squeeze your triceps. Sit up a little bit taller. You got this, breathe. Roll your shoulders up and back. You're here for four, squeeze your legs together. You got this, you're here for three. Breathe two. Big breath in. Slowly lower your back to the ground. Bring your arms somewhere by your side, shoulders are soft. Bring your knees to roughly a 90 degree angle over your hips, and then extend your feet forward from there another tiny bit. As soon as you've extended your feet more forward, notice what happens in your low back. Pull your low belly toward your spine, your low spine toward the ground, support your low back. As soon as you pull down, notice again what happens with your shoulders, let them soften. Notice the back of your head and your neck and your jaw. And then keeping your knees, or the one knee at this angle, inhale, extend one leg out, tap your heel, low belly pulls toward the ground. Exhale, come back to meet at that angle. Inhale, other side. Pull your low belly toward the ground. Exhale, come to meet at that angle. Squeeze your legs together. This time, inhale, both heels out. Notice what happens in your neck and your shoulders. Exhale, come to that angle. Pause. Readjust your low back so your low spine is grounded. Shoulders soft. Again, inhale, one leg out, doesn't matter which one first. Exhale, come back. Inhale, opposite one, notice your shoulders. Exhale, come back. Squeeze your legs together. Inhale, both legs out, round your low spine, shoulders soft. Exhale, back. Pause, readjust your low back or your hips. One more here, so knees a little bit further of that 90 degree angle. Shoulders soft. Inhale, one leg out, doesn't matter which. Exhale, come back. Other one, engage both quads. Inhale, extend your leg out. Exhale, come back. Squeeze your legs together, last one here. Inhale, lengthen out. Exhale, come back. And then lower your feet to the ground, hip width. Bring your fingers to graze your heels. Press your feet and your arms down, lift your hips. As you engage your glutes and you lift your hips in this bridge pose, pull your heels toward your arms to actively engage your hamstrings. Press down more firmly through your shoulder blades. Squeeze your glutes tighter, lift your hips up higher. Pull your feet back, draw your low belly in, support your low back. Squeeze your glutes even tighter, lift your hips up higher. Keep pulling your heels back, press through your shoulder blades. You're here for three, you've got this. Two, breathe in. Lower down, breathe out. Tug your knees into your chest. Take any intuitive movement here. And then take a strap or your strap or other your dog leash or other long prop. Lower your right leg to a comfortable position on the ground. Wrap your strap around your left foot. So this is the hamstring that we were engaging at the top of our space before with that knee bent. Actively push your foot into your strap. So lower your leg enough that you can push into your strap and engage your quad. So full extension through that left knee with strength wrapped around that joint. Keep this strength. Gently draw your leg back toward you only so far as you keep this length and full engagement through your left leg. And then if your shoulders are clenched here, let your shoulders and your upper arm, arms soften to the ground so you're holding on with your hands, but not necessarily your shoulders. Keep engaging your left quad, draw your leg in a little bit closer. And 
and then keep the strength in your leg strap in your left hand open your left leg to the left but only so far as your right hip stays on the ground so this opening is coming from your left hip and groin as opposed to from your pelvis rotating notice your shoulders let them soften notice your jaw big breath in Pat this breathe out Come back to center. Strap in your right hand. Cross your left leg over your right side. Big breath in. Breathe out. Keep your leg crossed over, but if your hip is lifted, bring your left hip back to the ground. Gently pulling your Sorry. Gently pulling your strap with your right hand, shoulder still soft, resist. Pull your left leg back to center. So you're breathing right into your outer left hip. As you pull your leg, notice what's happening in your neck and your shoulders. Let those soften. When you get back to center, breathe in. Exhale, take a half happy baby. Can you release your strap and replace your strap with your hand or keep your strap, but hold on to your foot with whatever allows you enough space to actively push your foot up. Keep your shoulder blades grounded, push your foot up into your strap or your hand, breathe right into your outer left hip. One more breath in. And then exhale, release your strap. Bend your right knee, left ankle over your right quad. You can draw your legs in towards you or let your right foot stay grounded. Left ankle over your quad this way. Whatever feels more restorative for your left hip here, so it doesn't need to be a huge stretch. Big breath in. Breathe out. And then unwind your legs. Bring your feet to the edges of your mat, windshield wiper your knees side to side a couple of times. And then come back to center, hug your knees into your chest. Rock forward and backward along your spine. Make your way through your seat to a tabletop. Take just a couple cat cow breaths here. Inhale your belly to the ground, bring your gaze up. Exhale, round your spine. And then as you're ready, ground your palms. Step your feet back, plank pose. Squeeze your triceps, press up through your mid-upper back. Breathe in. Exhale, bend your elbows, part way down, hold. Lower only so far as your hips and your shoulders stay level, that might be a millimeter. Press through the pads of your fingers. Squeeze your legs, squeeze your glutes. You're here for three. Pull your hands toward each other for two. Big breath in. Press up, breathe out. Press up through your middle back. Squeeze your triceps, squeeze your legs. Downward facing dog. And now press up high into your toes. Exhale, heels toward the ground. Inhale, extend your left leg high. Exhale, step your left foot between your hands, a lunge. Bring your right heel to the ground, toes at an angle. Come on up, warrior one. Nudge your right hip forward to square your hips. Bend deeper into your left knee, press through both feet. Connect your hands behind you. Shine your chest open, breathe in. And then nudge your right hip forward, humbly bow. Make your arms intentional here. Notice them. Squeeze your triceps. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Bend a touch deeper into your left knee. Actively squeeze your left quad. Notice your breath out. And then without any momentum, without pushing off your right foot, we're turning this back into that standing knee raise. Release your fingers to graze your mat. Pick your right leg up. Standing here. 
and then figure four. Right ankle over your left quad. Roll your shoulders up and back. Sit down and back into your left heel. As though you were sitting into a chair, draw your low belly and find that really subtle tuck of your tail. Soften the tops of your shoulders. Tap your right foot to the ground anytime you need it or want it. Big breath in. You got this, breathe out. Unwind. Standing knee raise. Breathe in. Exhale. Use your hip flexion, hug your right knee in tighter. Hug your heel toward your glute. Keep hugging it in. Slow pendulum to that standing split shape, but with your right knee bent and your heel pulling in using your hamstring strength. Recommit to pushing through your left foot. Let your shoulders soften. Hug your right heel in. Breathe in. Exhale, keep your right knee bent. Keep hugging your heel in. Find that one time squat. Tuck your right knee behind your left calf as you bend into your left knee. Keep the bend in your left knee. Actively push through your left foot. Engage your left quad. Use your hamstring. Hug your right heel up tighter. And then notice your fingers. Let them soften. Big breath in. You got this. Breathe out. Lengthen out. Breathe in. Step back. Low lunge. Ground your right palm. Left hand to your hip or toward the ceiling. Take that twist. And then bend deeper into your left knee. Hover your right fingers. Squeeze both legs. Breathe in. Lift up heart way. Breathe out. Bend into your left knee. Take your time. Reverse your warrior right heel to the ground. Reach up and back. So you're bending into that front left knee. Keep space in your left side body. Extend inside angle. Bring your left arm in front of your left leg or form your thigh. If your arm is in front of your leg, push your left arm and your left leg into each other and work for your outer left hip here. Press down through your back right foot. Put, bend deeper into your left knee. Push through your left foot. Actively squeeze your left quad as you press your arm and leg into each other. Any variation within that right hand or right arm. Breathe. Big breath in. You got this. Breathe out. Take your time. Unwind. Standing knee raise. Come up. Breathe in. Exhale. Parallel your feet. Let's connect your hands back behind you this time. Shine your chest open, breathe in. Keep your bind as long as this works for your shoulders forward fold. Breathe, big breath in. Open up, let it go. Maybe you turn your head side to side a couple of times. And then come back to center, release your hands, take a halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, turn to the top of your space, slow lunge. Slower your right knee to the ground, soften your right toes. This time, slide your left knee in front of your right. We're coming to meet seated. Left leg somewhere on top of your right. Your right leg can be bent or straight, either way is perfect. Make sure, in whatever variation you're choosing, that both sit bones are grounded. So on this side, notice especially your left sit bone. Sit tall. Soften the tops of your shoulders and then hinge forward. Hinge only so far as you keep along the spine. Notice your breath out. Take your time. Bend back up. Unwind both toes. Hands start behind your quads. Tilt length in your back. Roll your shoulders up and back. Squeeze your legs together. Breathe. You're here for five. 
breathe for four. You got this. Notice if your low back is rounding, sit up a little bit taller for three. Squeeze your triceps two. Breathe in. Slowly lower to your back. Breathe out. Bring your, we're going to skip the additional belly up core here, but bring your feet back to the ground, hip width. Bring your fingers to raise your heels. Press your feet and your arms down, lift your hips, bridge pose. Use your hamstrings by pulling your heels in towards your arms. Engage your glutes, lift your hips up higher. Press through your shoulder blades. You can stay here without moving. You can lower your hips to a hover and stay. You can lower your hips to the ground. If you want to add in um, more glute and hip work, it's beyond that because it's already hip work and glute work. Inhale, lower your hips down to a hover. Draw your low belly in the whole time. Exhale, lift up, squeeze your glutes, push through your shoulder blades. Inhale, lower down to a hover, low belly in. Exhale, lift, squeeze your glutes, push through your arms. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift, squeeze your glutes, pull your heels back. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift up, this time adding on. Inhale, open your knees out to the side. Exhale, lift up parallel. Inhale, lower to a hover. Exhale, lift up, engage your glutes. Pull your low belly in to support your low back here. Inhale, knees out. Keep your hips lifted. Exhale, parallel. Push through your shoulder blades. Inhale, lower your hips to a hover. You've got this. Pull your low belly in to support your back. Inhale, lift, squeeze your glutes. Pull your heels back. Press through your shoulder blades. Inhale, open your hips up. Exhale, parallel. Lower down. Hug your knees into your chest. Take any intuitive movement here. And then lower your left leg to a comfy position on the ground. Wrap your strap around your right foot. So this is the hamstring that you're strengthening at the top of our space a moment ago. Lower your right leg enough to give you space to actively push your foot into your strap and engage your quad. And then keep the strength and engagement through your right leg as you gently draw your leg back towards you. Soften your shoulders. If you're holding that strap with your shoulder off the ground and you feel pull on your right shoulder, let your right upper arm come back to the ground, still holding on with your hand. Squeeze your right quad. And then keep this hold, open your right leg to the right, only so far as your left hip stays grounded. Big breath in. Get one breath out. Come back to center, breathe in. Exhale, strap in your left hip. Cross your right leg over your left side. Keep your right leg crossed over, but if your right hip is lifted, bring it back to the ground. Keeping both hips on the ground, gently hold your strap to the left, resist, right leg strong. Pull your right leg back to center, so you're using this resistance to breathe into your outer right hip. Let that left shoulder especially soften. Coming back to center, Take a half happy baby, bend your right knee to the outside of your rib cage. Hold on to your foot with your strap or your hand. But either way, shoulders soften, push your foot up into whatever's holding it. Breathe right into the outside of your right hip. One more breath in here. And then exhale, stop. Release your strap if you still have it. Bend your left knee, right ankle over your left quad. Your left foot can be on the ground with this gentler, um, the reverse pigeon, where you can hug your legs in closer. 
you're emulating that figure four shape took at the top of our space standing this time with less balance. Big breath in. Let your shoulders soften, breathe out. Release your hands, unwind your legs, bring your feet back to the edges of your mat, windshield wiper your knees side to side a few times. And then coming back to center. Bring your knees right where we started, back to a 90 degree angle over your hips. Well, all the way to your left. Stack your right hip and knee on top of your left. Keep your hips stacked, peel open through your right side. Maybe rest that right hand somewhere so there's less pull on your right shoulder. Big breath in. Long breath out. And then as you're ready, make your way back through center. Switch your sides, roll all the way to your right, stack your left hip on top of your right. Keep your hips stacked. Just peel open through your left side. Maybe rest that left hand somewhere so there's less pull on your left shoulder. Couple more full breaths here. So you ready, make your way back to center. Hug your knees into your chest. Take any intuitive movement here. Then coming back to center, let your feet come together. Knees open out wide, that butterfly shape. Let's interlace your fingers behind your head, no core work here. Let the weight of your head rest in your hands and then use your hands to gently, gently being the operative word, draw your chin into your chest. Use your hands to gently turn your head to one direction and then the other, breathing into the back and the sides of your neck. And then back to center to the chest. Lower your head back to the ground, release your arms by your sides or anywhere where your shoulders are relatively soft. Shoulders stay soft. Inhale, push the bottoms of your feet into each other, engage your glutes, pull your low belly in. Exhale, soften. Again, shoulders soft. Push your feet together, engage your glutes, pull your low belly in. Once you have that engagement, again, notice your shoulders, let them soften. Exhale, everything softens. One more here. Inhale, press your feet together. Engage your glutes, pull your low belly in. Shoulders soft, breathe, breathe in. And then on your exhale, let everything soften as you extend out into your Shavasana, whatever final shape of class feels most stressful to you. That could be stretched out long. That could be feet on the edges of your mat, knees coming in together any other shape here that feels relatively restful.
Thank you for being here in virtual space to share your practice and your time and yourself and letting me be a part of that. Namaste.